This little red balloon seen around Nocatee marks where a proposed 5G cell tower could be located. If you live or work in the area, you probably have noticed some spotty cell service. Neighbors living closest to the proposed site say they are against a cell tower, just or that they are not against a cell tower, just not where it's proposed to go. Andrew Badillo is on your side with their concerns. Neighbors in Nocatee tell me that a cell tower that Looks like that one right up there could be coming to the Kelly Point neighborhood. And those neighbors, they do not want it, saying that's going to bring several concerns such as property value as well as safety. Our children will be playing in the shadows of a cell tower. Nocatee neighbor Elizabeth Kelly sent us this picture of her kid's steps from her driveway. It includes a Photoshop cell tower showing how close it would be to her house. It's a 170 foot tower. It's 240 feet to our properties. Also too close for Jennifer Kennedy. Oh, that neighbor. Way too close for Jeff Wetcherak. If you're standing in front of my house, it looks like the chimney of my house. Neighbors call the tower an eyesore and harmful to property values. Knowing that someone's taking away that kind of money from me is something I just can't stomach. The developer marked the potential location with this red balloon. The land is in Duval County. It's asking the city of Jacksonville for an exception. Right now, the tower the developer wants to put in is too close to nearby wetlands. We need to explore other options to see if, if the cell tower could be relocated elsewhere or not. Wednesday, District Council Member Raul Arias held a community meeting where neighbors asked questions to the developer. There still needs to be more time for the neighbors to actually explore more questions to be answered. And uh, in this case, we, we decided to just defer it and the applicant was okay with that. Neighbors like Kelly and Kennedy don't want it. They consider it a potential health hazard. The World Health Organization says research shows no adverse health effects have been caused by wireless technology, but few studies have been carried out at the frequencies used by 5G. Do we want to subject our children to that, have them be the guinea pigs where they could have problems 20 years down the road? The next scheduled meeting for this cell tower project is August 22nd, where it will go before the Planning Commission. Reporting in Nocatee, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.